I wanted to create this quick video on a question someone had. Why did keto spike my heart rate? So let's just go through this. Normally, if your pulse rate is higher, it's because you have low potassium, and that could come from eating too much sugar uh, or actually taking too much salt, which indirectly lowers the potassium because potassium calms the heart down. Um, or let's say you're taking diuretics, that could deplete your potassium or you're not consuming enough vegetables. So potassium is like the most important thing for regulation of heart rate. The other thing is if you're deficient in potassium, it can cause the heart to work harder and it can make a pounding sound. You can even hear it in your ear. And that usually comes from consuming a lot of carbohydrates or sugar or something like that. So this could be the reason why your heart rate is low and then you would just wanna take electrolyte powder, eat, consume more vegetables, stop the sugar, um, you could consume more salt um, as you have more potassium. But if you have low potassium, you don't want to eat a lot of salt because you want to look at the ratio. Those ratios are actually more important than even the total amounts. And of course, the diuretics, um, you have to get with your doctor on that point. The next reason is you have low vitamin B1 uh, because you're consuming too much sugar or grains or you're on metformin, which depletes B1, by the way, in which case you need to take nutritional yeast and that should bring the heart rate down. There's one last thing, the gallbladder. When you start keto, you're doing more fats. If you are not used to that many fats, and you can't tolerate that many fats, that can create pressure on the organs and congestion and actually indirectly put pressure on the heart, which could speed up the pulse rate. These two are not the issue. Then what you do is you wanna cut down on some of the fats, especially MCT oil, the little keto bombs and ex any extra types of fats that you're consuming, just cut that down a little bit and that should help you. One of the things you could do is you can actually massage the, the little bile ducts around that area. I put a link down below on, it's called gallbladder flushing. You're not actually flushing out the gallbladder, but you're actually releasing the pressure. That's something you can do as well if you feel a lot of bloating, especially after eating. All right, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body Subscribe now and get daily notifications.